I've praised the Dell XPS 15 laptop for basically being the best Windows laptop out there. It's got this nice balance between portability and power. But as per usual, nothing's perfect, so in this video we're taking a look at the main pros and cons of the new Dell XPS 15 9560. I'll also make a full review video which will be done in a week or so. So without any further ado, let's get into the pros first and then move our way into the cons. As always, the XPS PCs are very well built, the XPS 15 even more so. The carbon fiber soft touch coated chassis is backed up by aluminum panels which both makes it look better and gives the laptop a nice sense of sturdiness. The screen has no flex and the same goes with the great keyboard and therefore I genuinely think that the Dell XPS 15 is one of the best built laptops in the Windows market. The one thing you've all been looking at though is that display with its tiny surrounding bezels. It doesn't only look good, it also let Dell shrink the device itself which made the XPS 15 one of the smallest 15 inch laptops out there. Display wise, you've got two options, either the 4K touch one or the 1080p non-touch one, and both look great. The 1080p display has a matte anti-glare coating on top of it, and the 4K touch one has a piece of glass in front of it instead. They're both IPS displays, which means that color accuracy and viewing angles are on point, but in terms of which one you should choose, I'll let you know soon. The Dell XPS 15 is powerful. The model I have is featuring the latest 7th gen Intel Core i7 7700HQ quad core processor, 16 gigs of fast DDR4 RAM, an insanely quick 512 gig NVMe SSD, and a surprisingly powerful Nvidia GTX 1050 dedicated graphics card. The PC can do everything from basic tasks like browsing the web and watching high res video to more demanding tasks like photo editing graphics design, and 1080p video editing with ease. If you're like me, someone who does creative work but also likes to play games a little bit now and then, the GTX 1050 GPU can easily handle games like CSGO, Rocket League, and Overwatch at 1080p. It can even handle Battlefield 1 at 1080p with medium settings at around 50 FPS. So yes, the Dell XPS 15 is very powerful for its size. I also like the keyboard and trackpad on the XPS 15. The keyboard has a decent tactile bump so you know when a key is pressed, it's got a good layout with very useful quick toggles and switches like audio control, screen brightness and more. The trackpad is smooth and the gesture controls work as they should. I like them both a lot and in my opinion they're the best on any Windows laptop out there. In terms of inputs and outputs, it's looking pretty good. On the left side you have the charging port, a full size USB port, HDMI, USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 which can be used for various different things such as connecting a display, an adapter or a dock like this one from CalDigit. Next to that is the headphone jack. On the right side there's a Kensington lock, a battery life indicator, very useful, another full size USB port and a full size SD card reader, looking good. Now let's talk about the displays again, because depending on which one you get, it'll either be a pro or a con. In my case it's a pro as I've got the lower res 1080p model, so what's the pro? Well, battery life. On the 1080p model, I got great battery life of around 9 hours of browsing the web, 7 hours of video playback, and around 3 hours of video editing. Very respectable. If you've got a 4K display though, you can expect an amazing display but with lesser battery life. I'm not entirely sure as to how much you're losing, but based on other reviews, it's pretty bad. As touched on before, and as you can probably tell, the laptop is very small and portable for the power it's got. It weighs just over 2 kilos or 4.4 pounds, and dimension-wise, it's smaller than most 15 inches out there thanks to the aforementioned bezels. It's also quiet. The fan doesn't spin at all when doing just normal daily tasks. It does spin up however when using the laptop for more demanding tasks, and even when it's at full speed, it doesn't have that loud and high toned whine. Which is what most people get annoyed by. The fan is just there when it has to, 
My last pro in this video is the SSD, which I touched on before, as being insanely fast. But that single sentence does not justify how great this SSD is. Rebooting, booting, turning off, starting applications, loading applications and data, and so on is extremely quick and makes the XPS 15 feel more responsive and quick. This SSD technology is definitely the future and you can expect to see it in many other flagship laptops moving forward. So with the pricing out of the way, let's talk about the not so good stuff. First up, the webcam. It's bad. The video nor the audio quality is good and the placement of the camera itself doesn't help in any way either. If you're going to be attending video calls a lot, this laptop might not be for you. The speakers are also bad. They're placed on the underside which muffles the already not so great sounding audio. It's not like they're the worst speakers, it's just that you can expect better sounding speakers of a laptop of this caliber. This next con is a huge nitpick but also an easy fix from Dell's side. Take a look at this. Doesn't look very professional, does it? Come on, Dell, it's an easy fix. Just put some kind of notch or indent over there. My last con is the price of the laptop itself. It's great, but definitely not cheap. Dell themselves actually make a laptop with the same specs inside of a less premium and more thick package. The Inspiron 157567. And if you don't care about the keyboard, trackpad and build that much, get that instead. In conclusion however, the pros of this fantastic laptop definitely outweighs its cons by a lot. It's genuinely the best Windows laptop I've ever used and I can recommend it to anyone interested in a powerful yet sleek, portable and well-built laptop. Thanks for watching, peace.